What is up, everybody? Hey, it's Jamie, crafty DIY guy. Um, I decided to do a video on the recent fail that I had um, when I was creating this kind of hanging bud vase. And I'm actually excited because the revamp of it turned out so much better. So this video is going to show you everything that I was doing um, for that uh, fail that you may have seen on my Instagram. And then, uh, how I fixed it to make it into something fabulous. So hopefully you'll enjoy it. Um, also, if you are a new subscriber here, welcome. Hopefully you are enjoying the channel and having a lot of fun. If you are one of my long-term buddies, one of my long-term subscribers, my OGs, thank you guys so much for being here. I truly, truly appreciate it. And uh, I'm enjoying the ride with all of you. So rather than me just kind of ramble on, um, let's just get to the video, all right? All right, everyone, for the first part of our project fail, um, I used this piece of scrap wood. Then I also grabbed these Dollar Tree cylinders and some of these hose clamps that I had actually in my toolbox. So first thing I did was take my Waverly antiquing wax and wanted to kind of stain my board. And uh, this board was just a piece of scrap wood that was from Home Depot that was left over from a previous project. And uh, as you can see, it just does not take the stain very well. It almost looks like a, a burned or a, a zebra wood or something. Um, so I decided to just go ahead and uh, wipe off some of it and let it dry to see if I'd like it better. And then I attached my clamps to my glass cylinders kind of like so. I really hated the way that this board looked, so I wanted to go ahead and just cover it up. So I took the Waverly Antiquing, or actually, sorry, I took the Waverly Ink chalk paint and then covered up that board with this ink chalk paint. This is one of my favorite colors, by the way. I love the Waverly chalk paints and I especially love this ink color. So now I'm using my Gorilla glue sticks and I'm simply just putting some hot glue on the back of these clamps in the glass bottles and literally sticking them down to the board itself. Pretty easy, right? It's not gonna be holding really heavy flowers. I thought it would be perfect. And um, then I decided to go ahead and put a piece of twine on the back. I kind of doubled it up and just glued it down to be able to have something to hang with. I set it aside to dry overnight. I went to bed and this is what I woke up to the next morning. Apparently the hose clamps had squeezed these little bottles to death and they literally all broke. So what am I going to do now? So I took everything off of the board, um, the glue and everything. I touched up my board again with the antiquing, or I'm sorry, I keep calling it antiquing wax, the ink Waverly chalk paint. And uh, then I decided to take some of these small glass bottles that were left over from Dollar Tree that had the little tiny shells in it and use those instead. So again, I used my hot glue gun with that uh, Gorilla glue sticks in there. And then I also did a stripe of the E6000 right next to them, not mixing them together. I found out when you mix the hot glue and the E6000 together, it actually uh, causes the E6000 to break down. Who knew? So now I'm just going to set these bottles like so and just make sure that they dry overnight in a very safe place. And this is what it looked like the next morning. Everything dried really well. The glass jars were solid. I love the way that these look as a bud vase. And this is my project fail to project fabulous. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much and take care. Bye-bye.